welcome back to another vloggage episode guys i hope you are all doing really well happy easter it is easter monday and i'm all hanging out with me top um it is 9:25. emmy's been sick this morning but it is just a tiny little bit of like foam and it's seven weeks today since she's been sick but she's under the bed at the moment hiding in her bowls poor baby but I'm not getting too worried about it I think it is just gonna be every now and then she's gonna have these little tiny blips um, but we shall see um, we're going to pop out this morning I've got to get take my Google home back because it's not working properly um, and get some petrol and we're gonna go for a coffee and that's about it really um yeah so happy easter guys i hope you all had a lovely weekend with the fam bam or whatever you was doing um so yeah busy week this week going out with my dad tomorrow because my mum's going out with her friend wednesday i've got to stay in in the morning because my hamera's coming due a delivery went thursday out with the best day friday counseling busy week so yeah next week the carpet's being laid monday and tuesday now's on wednesday busy all week so i will catch up with you in a bit guys happy monday guys hello it's half past 11 oh good she knows um just been for a coffee with the parents i've got an iced one first iced one of the year um we are i'm gonna gonna go gonna put my teeth in gonna change my google play home thing google home because it kept pausing um so that's got a new one of those so i'm just dodgy fringe just gonna go home and feed my bubba boob she is was a bit sicky this morning but mum's been home since and says she's fine so i'm gonna go home and get that sorted out i'm gonna feed her mum's just popped a home base because we need a new tap because ours is leaking um and yeah i think that's it for today i feel a bit rough my knee's dislocated this morning so it's absolutely bloody killing me and i mean killing me i need to sort this out with the doctor I think I need like a, a strap or something on my knee um, which is going to be fun with the sun coming up but hey ho can't help having dodgy legs um, everyone's got suns out guns out um, and yeah it's quite warm just put the air conditioning on but because I haven't had it on for a while it's coming out warm um, so I'm gonna make my way home it's really busy out everyone's out enjoying the Sun um, yeah, so this little girl's just poked my dad in the bum, <laughs> sitting in the chair and she's just like whacked him in the bum. So cute, bless her. My dad laughed. He's like, I won't go near that, <laughs> which was quite funny. Um, so yeah, uh, you see some slight satin in the summer when the sun's out. Um, yeah so anyway i am gonna go home and feed the bubba so see you in a bit guys good afternoon you scrawny little lot it is quarter to five um it's been a while since i've caught up with you um i have sorted out my new google she's up there i'm not gonna say it because she'll come on and be like freaking out so she's all plugged in all girty all done um got my dressing done watch line of duty from last night i'm not going to give any spoilers because joe will kill me um and what else have i done my mum's painted my toenails for me so that and sorted my feet out so they're sand already because i'm going to go into town tomorrow with my dad because my mum's going out with her friend so i'm going to go into town with my dad he wears hearing aids and they need retubing and they only do it in town so i'm gonna go into town with him probably have a coffee i want to get some new sliders in shoes because they go to a size nine and 
yeah just have a little mooch around with him and what else chose a new book let me show you my new book because i finished the my other one last night uh, i've done piercing it's looking really nice really good on um su saturday i must have knocked it because there was a lot of dry, dry blood around it but it hasn't done that um since saturday it's fine not sore or anything like that but while i'm in town i might just pop in there and just get her to check everything is okay and show her the picture from saturday and make sure that there's nothing to worry about while i'm in town i might decide not to while i'm in town it just depends um and what else have i been doing Immy is absolutely fine update on Immy. um they were sick when i came home that I found, but I think it was because she was given too many biscuits this morning. Mum kind of gave her all, all that was in her pot, and because cats are just notoriously greedy, she just munched the whole lot, and I think she just overloaded her belly a little bit. So, um, yeah, I think that's what was going on there. Bear with, guys. But she's fine. She hasn't been sick again. I'm just going to touch wood. Um, but she's she's fine. She's on her chair um, and she's happy. So I finished the um, fourth book of Silent Wood. Oh, no, Prime Suspect last night. Um, so I'm going to give them a bit of a break. They are a series, but they... Um, they don't necessarily like follow on. You can break them up they're about the same characters it's not like a set story so i'm gonna go for this one which is michael botham the suspect which is the first book in the joe o'loughlin series and joe o'loughlin is a clinical psychologist and this is a series as well but i'm gonna give this one a go and there is the blurb if you're interested in having a pause and read um yeah so it sounds really really good um and i listened to the last one in this series on audiobook while i was recovering from surgery and i thoroughly enjoyed it so that's what made me buy this one and i've got the second one as well so i'm going to give that a little bash tonight um and see how I get on with that so I'm hoping I really 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 love it as much as I loved the last one in the series because that was really good so yeah that's just basically what today's been all about guys um so yeah and yeah just been you know pottering around home doing stuff indoors um busy week this week got um going to town tomorrow with dad wednesday i've got staying in the morning because my homera's come in thursday out with bestie and friday counseling in the afternoon I might have to go to the doctors in the morning about my knee but i'm going to speak to the doctor tomorrow so yeah that's about it so it's all go so i'm gonna go and have some dinner and then chill and i'll catch up with you for bed Hey up guys, it is quarter past eight, I've had a cup of tea early tonight because I'll tell you something, I can hardly keep my eyes open, I don't know why, I had a pretty good night last night, but I think because I've been a bit anxious about Immy today, I've had really bad heart palpitations all day and I'm freaking knackered mate, like honestly, before I got um, established on my beta blockers, like my heart was going absolutely freaking bulu all day, and I forgot how much it would like wore you out to have like a a one a really really fast heart rate heart rate and two to have palpitations all day. Like I'm not used to it now because it's normally pretty good. She's fine by the way. She's absolutely fine. She hasn't been sick again. Not too good do it properly Touch wood. it's probably a load of old crap but you know um and yeah she's eaten she's washed she's mouthed she's yeah she's fine um but 
you know when you just um a third mum I'm gonna worry about her. Um so yeah, she's fine. Um but my heart's just been going crazy all day because I've had a bit of anxiety about her and is she okay? Oh god, is she gonna be okay? Um but I'm just knackered today, I just I'm just exhausted. <sighs> Sorry to you all that you, so rude. Um, so I'm going to read for a bit, and now I'm going to I'm going to go to bed. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'll probably be in bed by like half nine. Oh God, I'm such a wild party animal. So I'm going to start my new book, um, and then I'm going to hit the hay. So that's where I'm going to leave it for Monday, guys. And I will see you on the flip side for Tuesday. Happy Easter Monday, guys. See you for Tuesday. Snoz checked, she's Paddy happy with Kirk look alike. <laughs> Yeah, Paddy Kirk look alike. Um, he looks like a drugs baron, he's not, I promise. Um, my Snoz is fine, um, she's happy with it. So we're just going to go and have a little wander, get some shoes and shoe zone, and pick up some for my mum. Um, I've got a few bits in Super Drug, um, which I'll show you when I get home. Nothing exciting, so don't get excited. Um, I think we're going to go to Wilkinson's, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. And I might have a little look in the works at the books, because I like a book, as you know. Um, and yeah, that's about it, guys. So, happy Tuesday. And yeah, I've just been chatting to these two lovely little old ladies in BB's, in the cafe. And uh, she was asking me about my legs. And I told her, and she went, oh, certainly hasn't stunted your growth has it <laughs> said no like that she was really cute so cute um so i love little old ladies that are cute we was having a good old chat um so yeah couldn't eat a whole one couldn't eat a whole one no no but she was lovely bless her so um yeah i will catch up with you a bit later guys happy tuesday and let's get tuesday underway Good afternoon guys and dolls. I don't know if any guys actually watch my channel, but I doubt it, but hello. It is 25 to 4. So, I've been to town this morning, as you would have seen. Um, I did film a little bit in Superdrug, but it's hard to film like... Um, I was a bit mad this morning because this lady kind of looked at me really funny in my mobility scooter and shook her head at me so I kind of did snap at her a little bit and I said to her yes it is mine I haven't stole it from my nana it is mine just because I'm not 98 doesn't mean I'm not disabled so I haven't nicked it I'm not joyriding on it <laughs> it is mine um, because I get that a lot um, and also I get it when I use my disabled badge um, as well 
because I happen to be a younger um, just because I'm young doesn't mean I'm not disabled you know not all disabilities are visible all that kind of stuff um, I face it quite a bit um, as you if you're a regular watcher of my vlog you would have met I mentioned it a couple of weeks ago in Rochester I got it with the bloke with the disabled badge so yeah so I was in a bit of a foul mood anyway until I stopped and had a coffee with dad which is when I first started the vlog anyway forget about that I'm going to show you what I bought in town didn't buy a lot um, just a few bits that I needed and um, I treated myself to a pair of sliders and yeah, so I'm going to spin the camera around, show you what I bought, tell you where everything is from, how much it was, and that kind of stuff. So let me spin the camera and then I'll explain. So let me start with my sliders. So I get most of my sliders from Shoe Zone because they go to a nine. And when I went in to get my nose pierced the other day, I spotted these in the window. And... I just really liked the detail of them um the fact that they're like two sort of they're they're split um ones they're kind of like just plasticky at the bottom um should have put the flush on really shouldn't i they would have looked prettier um and yeah they're just made in china size nine um yeah they're just really comfortable um quite big let me try it on one for you so yeah they're just quite big comfortable um sorry if you hate feet but yeah so i just purchased those so yeah i just thought they were pretty with the detail so i grabbed them they were 9.99 obviously i've got two <laughs> lol not a pirate so yeah, and I got the size nine, and they were the last nine. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on their website because I would like them in either black or silver or pink or some other color, other than what I'm not a fan of white shoes. So I would like a different color. So I'm gonna keep an eye on their website. So yeah, that's them. So they were nine ninety nine. The next item I picked up is my Holy Grail mascara, which is by the brand Essence. And it is the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. Freaking love this mascara. I'm not going to open it and show you the brush because it's a standby for when my other one gets all funky. Uh, the only downside to this mascara is it doesn't last very long. I know you're going to blah, 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 start again, Chloe. I know you're meant to change your mascara. Is it three monthly? Yeah, three monthly, I think um this probably doesn't even last two um that's the only downside but at three pound thirty you can't really complain about that and essence is cruelty free so yeah i love the wand on this love the formula it gives me really long splayed lashes not a lot of volume so if you're after a lot of volume won't be for you but it gives me so much length and yeah i just love it um but like i say it does go clumpy very very quickly that's the only downside to that so like i say if you're after trying essence they do so many mascaras um they do an orange one of these which is more volumizing i have tried that as well liked that but love this one um check out essence guys if you're after cruelty free try some of their makeup their um Blot bronzers and blushes look good. Highlighters are supposed to be really good. Their mascaras are amazing. So if you're after cruelty free makeup on a budget, now varnishes are really good. Try Essence in Wilkinsons or Wilco's as it is now. Check them out. So that's that. The next place I went is the piercing shop to check get her to check me snores because I've had some bleeding around it um, over the weekend just some dried blood it hasn't done it since saturday um she said it's absolutely normal it is totally fine it's healing lovely so i picked up another one of the saline solution sprays because i've been using that a lot more to clean the blood away and everything like that sorry for the 
lovely description so this is just the easy piercing uh, saline solution that you can buy in the piercing shops i don't know if you can get it online um and this was six pound um which is quite expensive but i've got to do these sprays for up to two months these this one and an orange one which is the anti which is the antiseptic but the orange one you only have to use a tiny bit but the saline obviously i've been cleaning it and stuff so i bought another one if i don't need it all i don't need it all but i'd rather have too much than too little the next thing i bought were um makeup -y items from superdrug these were on offer for like a buy one get one half price so i treated myself to a new miracle complexion sponge these are my favorites uh, i've never tried a beauty blender but I just refuse to spend 20 quid on a sponge. Um, the This is one of the new ones. It's a Sugar Crush one. It's got glitter. See all that pretty glitter? My dad calls these the EDF guys. If you remember that EDF energy advert where it had a little orange man. Um, so I said to him today, oh, look what I've bought. The EDF man's had a makeover. <laughs> well, if you remember that advert. Um, if you don't, you won't have a clue what I'm been talking about um but this is like a i don't know if it's limited edition or not it doesn't say anywhere limited edition but it's the pink one and it was 5.99 um so i just went for the sugar crush one they did do a lighter one but i just went for this one and then i needed a new um bronzer brush because mine the handle is about to fall off of it it's like loose and throwing everywhere and i really am quite keen on the studio brushes from superdrug so i picked this one up i know it says um finishing brush uh, blusher and contour there but i thought this would be the right size for bronzing for me um because i tend to only bronze my cheeks and don't really do my forehead because I've got fringe and um, jawline, so that'd be about the right size for me. And yeah, I'm quite quite. I like the um, Primark brushes, and I also really like the Studio brushes by Superdrug. So check them out. And Studio, I presume, is cruelty free because it's um, Superdrug. So I don't know if it applies to brushes or not, but yeah. Um, and these two were on a buy one get one half price so that was 5 99 this i believe i got this for like 2.99 i believe so yeah that was all i got guys that's my little haul for you i want a razor you know shave those pins can't be walking around like a gorilla now can we if that's your thing i'm not saying anything against that you you do you boo you know what I mean but it's not for me um so yeah that was my that was my haul for you nothing exciting nothing like to get the flags out out about just had my dressing done I'm going to do my snoz change my wax melt chill out for a bit I'm a bit tired today not feeling the best this afternoon um so yeah that's it guys tomorrow morning i've got to stay in my hamera is coming my hamera delivery is arriving probably be a day in tomorrow to be fair um because thursday i am out with the bestie and um, we're going to cinema we're going to the cinema to see greta the film greta if you don't know what greta is google the um advert thingy trailer that's what i'm trying to think of because it looks really good so yeah we're gonna go and see that so yeah i'm gonna go and read my book or chill for a bit till we have dinner which smells amazing we've got sausage casserole tonight um yeah so i'm gonna go and chill guys so i'll catch up with you probably now before bed see you later guys just eating a grape um it's half past eight just had a little play with Immy with she's got like a laser pen she goes boo for that I recalled it once when I played with her she had a bit of a coughing fit this afternoon I 
thought she was going to hock, but she didn't hock, so that's good. But she did have a bit of a coughing fit, so, but she's fine. Um, I think she just woke herself up, because she was fast asleep, love her, and she just had a cough, but she's fine. <clears throat> she's moaning at me for more biscuits, but she's not due now till 10 o'clock. Um, however, mummy's not fine. Mummy doesn't feel too good tonight. Um, I don't know if I've got like um, when I take my tablets sometimes. Let me know if any other spoonies out there suffer with the same thing. If you take medication, do you sometimes get like this feeling where you can actually feel the tablet in your like esophagus? Because I get that sometimes. Am I going crazy? Or am I not going crazy? But I feel like I can feel the tablet sometimes. Even though I eat something to try and push it down. Like I've just ate like about 100 grapes. Because <laughs> they're my favourite. And like four strawberries. And I feel like I can still feel the tablet. Weird. I don't know. Maybe I need to go to the doctor. But I'm so tired again tonight. I'm sick of being tired. I'm not gonna mind. I'm gonna read for a bit. Um and then we're gonna go to bed. My Homera company have just texted me, my Homera is coming between eleven minutes past nine and eleven minutes past eleven. Or it might be nine minutes past nine and nine minutes past eleven somewhere around that region anyway I don't have to be that precise do I um, so I'm going to be in in the morning I need to find a chemist see if my monthly medication huge amount of medication is done but I don't think it's going to be because it's like medication Wednesday um, so yeah I've got really bad palpitations as well I'm falling apart just put me down so yeah not been feeling the best the last couple of evenings so yeah anyway gonna love you and leave you and i'll see you for hump day we're at hump day already it's hump day tomorrow i mean where just where's my week gone um so yeah see you in a bit guys for hump day good wednesday morning guys happy hump day how are we all on this gloriously grey and miserable hump day sorry about the washing machine doing a salvator's dance out in the kitchen but it's on spin it is just gone quarter to ten i've had a productive little morning me i have i have i am up wash dress breakfast done all my jobs my Immy's water, weighed her food out for the day, cleaned my piercing, had a wash, done my hair, filmed a video. Just gonna have a cup of coffee, waiting on the Hamera delivery, done a load of washing. But there's no stopping me this morning, is there? I'm like flying. I filmed a Hamera, I don't know, Hamera on the brain. Um, HS video for you this, today and um, that will probably be going up next week sometime um, so yeah I've just got to work out how to link a couple of websites in the description box I'm sure I'll work it out um, so I'm just going to have a lazy day at home today because I'm out with my bestie tomorrow we're going to see Greta at the cinema um, so yeah it's just a nice lazy day at home my mum's taken my uncle to mum and dad have taken my uncle for a ct scan today oh he's been a bit of a nightmare over this because the autism love him he's been a bit and he's got to drink so much and stop eating at a certain time and oh it's been a bit of a nightmare so i'll be glad when that's over and poor mum she's been a bit stressed over it so that'll be a relief when that's over so yeah we're just just 
just having a I'm just having a day in because I can't go out because of me um never delivery. So yeah, I've got a phone up but bloody I bought an electric toothbrush on Christmas Eve from Home Bargains and it's broken and I me being me sorted out all my receipts and everything when I did my room and I've thrown away the year's guarantee and the receipt so I can't take it back but I've screenshotted a number for Oral B so I'm going to ring them and see if there's anything they can do um, because like I've only had it like what six months four months um, and it's broken so I'm like not very happy about that and I don't really want to have to spend out on another bloody toothbrush when that one cost me 30 quid so I've got to sort that out today um, so yeah that's fun and games so I'm going to sit here and drink my coffee give all the be a ring so yeah it's all fun and games all fun and games so i hope you're all having a fantastic hump day and i'll catch up with you sporadically throughout the day guys happy hump day so six minutes on the phone to oral b new toothbrush that's it yep she was like oh can you read out the numbers on the bottom of the toothbrush to me so i did and she was like oh yeah that's still in guarantee like it was made in the 20th week of 2018 so you've got till the 20th week of 2020 or something so i sent her out a new toothbrush i was like bang it it won't be pink though i was like that's okay i don't mind what color it is as long as it brushes the ganaches um but i've stuck that one on charge again at the moment just to try and get me through the seven to ten days until the new one comes out um so yeah you don't ask you don't get guys who knew who knew these things you know you have to ask sometimes to get what you need so yeah but yeah they replaced it so yeah well done or will be good evening guys i don't think i've caught up with you since this morning um, it's 20 past 8 um, I've been watching this thing on Netflix called The Glitch oh my god it's so good it's like about these six people that come back from the dead like I'm hooked it's amazing it's set in Australia and it's amazing it's so good so I highly recommend you check that out check that out on netflix if it's a bit it's not like zombies or anything like that because i'm not into stuff like that but they come back to life and they can't leave this town called yana or something like that it's called because every time they try and leave they get ill um so they're stuck in this town and yeah there's like this policeman at the moment and he's like turned he had a car accident and his something has turned a bit dodgy in him um and we're gonna find out kind of thing if he's involved in it and this really nice doctor's been helping him and she's kind of taken him out to this farmhouse in the middle of nowhere to keep him safe and this other policeman he's his wife has actually come back from the dead but he's married to her best friend now and she's really heavily pregnant and it oh it's just really good like I'm, I've watched three episodes tonight, so it's called The Glitch. Um, so yeah, highly recommend you check that out. Um, so I'm going to go make a cup of tea, and I'm going to read some of my book, which that is amazing as well. Um, it's Michael Robotham, The Suspect. It's the first in the Joe O'Loughlin series, which I listened to the last one on audiobook. So that was re that was really good. So. I'm reading the first one in the series of that. Um, yeah, I've had a really good day, really productive day at home. Got loads of stuff done that I needed to get done. Um, so yeah, it's been a really good hump day. I hope you guys have all had a really good hump day. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I'm going to the cinema with my bestie. And 
yeah so I'm gonna say good night for Wednesday and I will see you on Thursday guys good night good Thursday morning guys it is 20 past 9 and I am ready to go to see my bestie um, we're gonna go to the cinema today to see Greta the film that looks like it's like a bit of a thriller by the looks of it so, oh we're gonna go and see that but it looks like it's gonna absolutely bucket it down so I was gonna wear sliders but put my trainers on because I don't want to be getting so wet feet so which is a bit disappointing seeing as we've had such lovely weather so I hope you all have a wonderful day what have you all got planned for the Thursday um, so I'm gonna leave in a minute turn the light off Gimme's asleep on her chair nothing new there then I um, I'll leave her some food down as mum and dad have popped out as well um, so yeah do you want a new top it's a bit lippity um this makeup took me like 10 minutes <laughs> it looks a bit i don't know if it looks good or it doesn't but i just chucked it on my face so i was running a bit late having to have my dressing done and everything i just need to choose a lipstick um so yeah i hope you all have a wonderful thursday i will catch up with you sporadically throughout the day so yeah happy thursday guys let's get thursday underway guys it is six minutes past three we've just come out the cinema say hi nick um greta was brilliant wasn't it brilliant. it was the best film i've seen for a long long time so if you're <clears throat> near a cinema go and see greta and apparently have a colonic because it's very good for your memory apparently so <laughs> So I need a colonic irrigation because my short-term memory is shit. Same here. But I won't be having one done, just no, same here. FYI. Um, <laughs> the woman that played Greta... Chloe something or other. Hang on a minute. No, the to... woman that played oh. Greta, the older one. Oh, hang on a minute. I looked on IMDb, didn't she I? She <laughs> was amazing. She she played that part, didn't she? Absolutely. Isabel Huppert? She was brilliant. Yeah. She played that part. She played a psychopath well, didn't Definitely. she? Definitely. She could play a psychopath, so yes. she was really good. And the one that played the victim, what was her name? Frances. Uh, she the actress, was Chloe yeah. Grace. M M I can't pronounce her surname. Uh, Chloe Grace. She was really good as well. It was a really good film with it a was brilliant ending. Brilliant. So good. So if you, if you want a film to see, see go, go see Greta. Yes. Um, just gonna, I'm just gonna go through the drive-thru and grab a coffee because I didn't eat my lunch. I'm gonna have another McFlurry. She's gonna have another McFlurry. And um, then I'm gonna drop Nick home and I'm going home. But yeah, it's been a lovely day, hasn't it? It's, it's, been, been, a, it's been a lovely day. So yeah, I will see you a bit later, guys. But go and see Greta. Yeah. You won't regret it. Good Friday morning, guys. Sorry, I didn't end with you last night. But I was exhausted. <laughs> a long day yesterday and I was tired so I didn't end with you last night um it is 9 43 just got washed showered gonna go curly today um and I'm gonna sit here and do some editing um until I have to go to my counselling appointment later on mum and dad have gone food shopping so I wait for them to come home help them unload that Feeling a bit tired today, feeling very anxious. I don't know what's going on, so um, it's good that I'm going to my counselling appointment. Been feeling like that for a few days. I don't know if it's um, the anaesthetic working its way out of my body. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just feeling a bit pants. Um, so, yeah, that's it really. So I'm going to just chill this morning until it's time to um, go to counselling and then go there and come home again. Nothing elaborate today, um, that's about it. So 
yeah happy friday guys i hope you all have a wonderful friday and yeah that's about it really um not a lot going on here nothing really exciting so yeah that's all that's going on and got planned so i will catch up with you sporadically throughout the day see you in a bit guys good day it is 12 37 i've just got to rochester um i brought some lunch with me um so i'm going to sit in the car and have some lunch the traffic is horrendous um just like i look today um there's big black clouds up above um so i'm gonna eat my lunch go for a wee because i need a wee go and get my dad's sweets from the sweet shop um go to my counseling appointment come out probably get a coffee not gonna lie and then go home today because i'm feeling a bit rough um but yeah that's the plans for today um or this afternoon drive home um so yeah i got my, all my editing done this morning up until this very point um yeah so nothing exciting going on at all to be fair nothing exciting at all um i ordered some vacuum packed bags off of ebay which they've arrived um to store my winter clothes in like jumpers and cardigans things that are quite bulky so i'm gonna have a go with them over the weekend the weekend is consisting of cleaning the bathroom and um getting things sorted for the carpet to be laid on monday and tuesday to be honest i can't wait for that to be over um so yeah exciting weekend um yeah that's all that's really going down at the moment so yeah hope you're all having a great friday I'm gonna eat my lunch and yeah see you in a bit good saturday morning guys sorry i didn't end last night's or well, this week's vlog with you last night but to be perfectly honest I was completely and utterly exhausted so um, I came out of counselling grabbed myself a cup of coffee um, grabbed myself a cup of coffee and came home had my dressing done and then dinner and chilled and then I was in bed by half nine because I was shattered. So, um, yeah, it was a pretty standard Friday night. Um, Emmy was in here with me. And I just completely forgot to pick up the camera, if I'm honest. I read some of my book. Um, had a pretty good night's sleep. I was extremely tired. Um, it is ten o'clock on Saturday morning now. I am feeling exhausted and I mean exhausted um, we all are we've had a pretty busy week um, we are just having a restful day today I've cleaned the bathroom down this morning um, had some breakfast and just potted around a little bit and I'm just gonna chill for a bit have a coffee in half an hour or so and I'm just gonna read some of my book I just have a bit of a chill day at home today um, tomorrow we've got to move a few bits around for the carpet to be laid on Monday so yeah we're just gonna chill today just gonna chill out um, so yeah that's it really guys so this is where I'm gonna end this week's vlog thank you so much for watching as always if you enjoy please hit Leave a friendly comment, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell on if you wish to be notified of when I upload. Um, there will be a, another video coming probably this week sometime on my HS. Um, so, hope you all have a fantastic weekend um, and I will see you bright and early, or bright and squarely even, 
where did Ernie come from, on Monday morning for another vloggage episode. And yeah, have a happy weekend guys and I will see you very soon. It's love.